Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Annette from Colliers International. Thank you for joining our webinar today, where we are joined by Jordan Smith from Capricorn Finance and my colleague Theo Hector, also from Colliers International. With recent government announcements introducing 95% mortgages and the extended help to buy initiative, we'd like to take some time to help you navigate the buying process and help understand developer timelines. Jordan will go through the easy steps of using help to buy and non help to buy that will help you get into your first or your next home. We'll then take a look at Galleon's Point by Telford Homes as part of the ongoing regeneration in the rural Albert Docks area. We have some great flats ready for occupation available with help to buy, which Theo will talk about in more detail later. If you do think of a question at any point during the presentation, feel free to type it in the Q&A box and we'll answer them at the end. Right, over to you, Jordan. Thank you very much, Annette. <clears throat> As Annette said, I'm just looking today to hopefully give a bit of an overview about help to buy, how the process works, uh, and just give a few illustrations on how we're looking to do uh, the numbers. So, sorry, uh, Nanette, if you could just switch to the next page. Um, so just a little bit about ourselves. So Capricorn have been working with Colliers for a number of years uh, with regards to mortgages. As a company though, we've been open since 2005. We're very much uh, experts in the new build space. My specialty has always been new build and very specifically helped to buy over the last few years with the success of the scheme and just the ability to help vast numbers of first time buyers, it's something that we've really put our focus on. Um, as well as myself, we do have 50 expert advisors at Capricorn. So following on from this webinar, if anybody wants any tailored conversations or specific advice, do reach out and I can either uh, arrange everything myself or put you in touch with one of my colleagues. Um, and all of that is, advice is free and is open to the entire marketplace of lenders. So just to give a bit of an overview of where things are currently uh, in mortgages as a whole. So interest rates, um, as, as anybody who's done some research will see, uh, are extremely low. And the great news is that we've seen these have been falling a lot over the last couple of weeks. Uh, even just this week, we've had Barclays and Nationwide have issued rate reductions. Uh, and it's something that we're seeing as a trend across the industry. Uh, and despite what a lot of newspapers might tell you, banks are extremely eager to lend at the moment. Uh, what we're seeing a lot of, particularly off the back of uh, the, the impacts of COVID affecting the banks is that they're starting to introduce a lot of innovative criteria that previously might've been withdrawn just because of the heightened risk in the market. Uh, and with this comes things like guarantor mortgages, uh, lending on, on new build properties and, and higher loan to value mortgages. So at the moment, it's a great time to buy uh, and with all the incentives in place, it really helps first time buyers get on the ladder. Uh, again, despite what you might hear from uh, a number of naysayers is that uh, most credit circumstances can be considered. Uh, we've had a lot of people who have come to us recently who might have missed a payment or taken payment holidays or, or had some kind of difficulties in their finances. Uh, we've had publications for a number of banks where they've said that they can overlook certain things provided there's a decent explanation behind it. Uh, and what I'd always implore people is to not let that assumption hold them back from looking into buying property. Uh, after a conversation with us, we can usually get you to a point where you've, we've got something agreed in principle and you know exactly what you can do on the finance. Uh, Help to Buy and the STLT holiday uh, are coming together creating a fantastic time for the housing market as a whole uh, and is keeping the, the market itself very, very active. And from what a lot of people have seen from uh, the most recent announcements, what we're starting to see is 95% mortgages on the horizon, both taking advantage of the insurance backed scheme, which the government have offered, but also a number of lenders are taking on their own initiative to launch their own 95% mortgages. Uh, which is not only a great thing for the mortgage market, but also a real good indicator for the market and the economy as a whole. So looking specifically at help to buy, if I was to just look at the, the very high level basics, uh, the new 2021 scheme is operational. The big difference being is that it is only there for first time buyers where previously anybody who wanted to buy a home to live in could access the help to buy scheme. That will be running all the way till through till 2023. So good opportunity for people to save up deposits or to get on the ladder. Uh, and there's no issues about that potentially running out anytime soon. Uh, in terms of the mechanics of the scheme. So as a buyer, you would only ever need to put down 5% of the purchase price. I've put together some illustrations, which I'll go through uh, shortly, uh, but that's the only obligation on yourself. Now, despite the fact, and this is something that I see a lot of people getting confused with, is that when you go onto a lender's website, or if you look at some of the, the calculators, some banks will say that you can go to 4.75, five times, or even five and a half times your salary. Now, something to remember is that help to buy have mandated that the mortgage company can only, only lend you 
uh, no greater than four and a half times your joint income. So what we usually do when you're first looking at help to buy properties is we'll arrange a 10, 15 minute phone call where we can sit down with you, run through the, the government issued calculator to make sure we can get that exactly right. And we can formulate a budget almost to the pound in terms of what you're able to spend. From there, the government would then provide you with a 40% equity loan. So that, that loan would sit on top of your deposit. And that would mean that you've got a minimum of 45% cash to put into the purchase. And we then take out a mortgage for the remaining 55%. Um, there is a little bit of additional processing required. So there's a number of forms that need to be filled out. And there's a government agency that uh, coordinates all of these activities. Capricorn have got everything set up to, to be able to smooth that process and make it easy, easy as you can. Uh, and there's no additional fee outside of our usual services uh, that we charge in relation to this. So hopefully we should be able to really simplify the process and make it very easy. And what's great about the equity loan itself is for the first five years, that's completely interest free. So as an initiative, you know, some people that I speak to are skeptical or might be concerned that there's a downside in reality, being an equity loan, the loan itself only increases if the property value is it increases, which is great. Uh, even if you know something happened and, and there was a, any issues in relation to the valuation of the property, that loan is only ever going to be 40% of the property. And I've included a few illustrations just down here. Now, uh, these numbers are very specific to Galleon's point. So we've got illustrations for a um, three for a one bed and for a two bed. So looking at the two bed as a starting point you will be able to buy that unit for 523,750. Only need to put down 26,188 pounds as a deposit. The mortgage then would be 288,062. And looking at what that would mean in terms of the monthly payment, 993 pounds. Uh, and that's based on a current market interest rate over a 30 year term. So not even stretching things too far. Uh, and hopefully that would mean that, that it's very affordable. Similar, similar numbers on the two beds where you're buying for three, uh, sorry, the one bed, where you're buying for three, four, eight, seven, fifty. Working out the mortgages on that exact same numbers will cost you 661 pounds a month. So I'm sure Theo will explain a bit more about the development from a finance perspective. As I've said, interest rates are absurdly cheap at the moment. Uh, and with the help to buy scheme, it is making a, a lot of things very affordable for a lot of people. Uh, and then I've just just really wanted to touch on first time buyers from a non uh, help to buy uh, perspective, because some people might be curious as to what the other side would look like. So in that situation, you can get up to five times your salary. So that's something that can still be done. You would need to put down a minimum of 10 percent, although sometimes banks will ask for more when it comes to a new build property. So sometimes 15 percent. Um, but the interest rates are still very competitive. So as you can see there with a 10 percent deposit, you'd be looking at 3.19 percent. Just to contrast that against help to buy, if, if you were to put down 5% and take out help to buy mortgage, what's important to remember is you're only borrowing then 55% of the value of the property. So what ends up happening is that you're then sitting at the lower end of these scales and you're looking at interest rates at 1.4, 1.5%. But anyway, back to this, uh, with a 15% deposit, as you can see, 2.14, and then where it really starts to drop is once you've got 20 or 25%. But you know, if that's something you want to explore, then obviously we can look at that as well. Uh, and then finally, just about the process. So, you know, what we do for Colliers and for all of our buyers is just to make things as, as, as easy as possible. What it should really be is you find the property of your dreams, you put down a reservation fee, and then we can make sure that everything happens alongside that. So speak to one of our advisors, usually within 24 hours, if you contact us, we can then explain how much you could borrow from a help to buy perspective. We can give you all the options in terms of the numbers and give you advice around the mortgage. Once we've done that, we would then look to get an agreement of principle, which is just a credit score backed document from one of the lenders saying you can definitely get the mortgage. Again, that's a free service provided by the banks and takes about 20 minutes to do. So really, really easy. Um, and then once you find the property, Capricorn Assist in getting the mortgage arranged quickly, liaising with your solicitors, coordinating with help to buy it and just making the whole process as easy as possible. Uh, if anyone wants to screenshot my contact details, there, there they are. But if not, I will uh, move on to Theo. Thank you very much. Uh, over to Theo shortly. Thank you very much, Jordan. I just, um, I hope everyone found that useful. And again, uh, as you mentioned, if anyone has any questions, feel free to type it in the Q&A box and we'll answer them at the end. Uh, this brings us on to the next part, looking to the east. Uh, thanks to a multi-million pound regeneration scheme by APB London, as many of you know, the Royal Albert Dock area will look to become London's third major business and financial centre. They're investing just over £1.7 billion into the area, creating over 30,000 new jobs and adding an estimated value of £6 billion to the local economy. 
with the expansion of London City Airport, the arrival of the new Crossrail station and three new hotels emerging, as well as 4.7 million square foot of retail, business and residential space, which is equivalent to nearly 108 acres, which is about the size of 54 football pitches. This area is certainly a good place to invest and make your next home. We'll be exploring, Galli uh, we'll be exploring one of our developments now called Galleons Point by Talbot Homes in the heart of Galleons Reach with Theo. Here's a one minute video showing how help supplies available here and uh, my colleague Theo will be talking through the key points and availability after. Thank you, Nanette, and thank you, Jordan. Um, and thank you for everyone that's joined our Q&A today, or our, um, our seminar as well. Um, so yes, my name's Theo. I work with Nanette at uh, Colliers International, been there for a number of years, and I'll be discussing Galleons Point in a bit more detail. Uh, Galleons Point development is developed by Telford Homes, uh, located in rural docks in East London. As you can see from the map on the left-hand side, it gives you an idea of where we are. So we're about a stone's throw away from the UEL and uh, Canary Wharf, as well as ABP Royal Albert Dock. The development itself is situated about a two minute walk to uh, Galleons Reach DLR station. This is a great asset for any resident that lives in the development, um, giving you great links into the city. Um, you can get to Stratford, Liverpool Street, Canary Wharf and Bond Street in quite a short amount of time. Um, by using the DLR as well as the Crossrail once that is launched um, in the coming year. Can we go to the next slide, please, Nanette? Thank you. So this photo here is just a bit of an, a bird's eye view of the area. Um, this shows you Royal Albert Dock as well as Royal Victoria Dock. Um, this is basically the heart of the Docklands. Um, and this gives you a, a, brief, a brief overlook of the DLR link as well. Um, the DLR as I said will take you into Custom House, which is where you'll be able to pick up the Crossrail from there. Um, but also, if you wanted to enjoy the local area, Royal Victoria has a lot of amenities that are opening up for the local residents in the area. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. So um, I personally live around this area. I've lived around here for about 12 years, so I've enjoyed the amenities that are around here. And we've seen a lot more residents come into the area. You see it's getting a lot busier as well. Um, the biggest benefit, um, especially during summer, you've got the, the East London Beach, which is um, around Royal Victoria. Um, residents could enjoy food, drink around the area. But also if you're into water sports, for example, um, there's a local rowing club, which you can um, which you can join up to. And you can row along the, the Royal Albert docks as well, which is a nice little touch for the area. Also, you have access to the Emirates cable car um, from Royal Albert Wharf, um, or Wharf Victoria Wharf, sorry. Um, the benefit of having this, this gives you direct link over to the O2, offering beautiful views of East and um, towards the West of London. Um, so it's, it's a nice little touching point for residents in the area as well. Next slide, please. So Royal Albert Dock, um, there's a lot of plans for regeneration as Nanette said previously. Um, plans of 1.7 billion pound investment into the area to, to boost the local economy. Um, it's gonna be a new business hub around Royal Albert, War, Royal Albert Dock. Um, and given the, the investment plan, it's around 200 million for um, the expansion of London City Airport. It's making it a great hub for businesses and commuters alike to come into the area. Um, 
uh, London City Airport is, is one of the fastest routes still to New York um, from London as well. Um, next slide, please, Lynette. <laughs> so the development itself, Royal Albert Wharf, um, Royal, um, Dallin's point, sorry, uh, is a complete development. There's a total of 127 private units within the development, which 17 of the apartments are still available for sale. Residents within the development would be benefiting from um, access to 24 hour concierge, uh, a private residence, landscaped gardens, residence lounge, and parking is included for selected apartments as well. So this slide here will give you a brief overview of what is available within the development um, in terms of property. The video on the left hand side will give you a, a bit of an idea of the final finish. Um, and on the right hand side of the video, there is a floor plan for one of our one bed apartments, which is currently available. This apartment is apartment H12. This is on the market for 348,750. Um, for that, you would get a, a great size one bed apartment offering a private balcony with views in towards the, the private landscape gardens and it's south facing as well. So you get a lot of natural light within the apartment. In terms of the finish of the apartments, you have bespoke kitchens, um, engineered wood flooring, underfloor heating throughout the apartment as well. Um, beautiful bespoke bathrooms as well, which are finished in gray with, um, with also having a beautiful um, uh, white um, sanitary wear within, within the bathrooms as well. And as I said, the, the underfloor heating grows throughout the apartment. Next slide, please, now. So in terms of the other, other side of the apartments that we have available, we've got two beds and three beds. Um, two beds start from 523,000. This is an apartment um, that I think is a good option as well. Uh, with this apartment, it is south facing as well. So you've got a great deal of natural light coming in. Um, this apartment's on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, sorry. Um, this is on the market for 523,000 and that will give you 753 square foot of internal space. Also with our three bed apartments, this is above the help to buy threshold, but if you are looking as a first time buyer to purchase, this could be an option for you if you're looking at a three bed property. Um, this on the market is 641,250, but that will give you about 1,080 square foot of internal space, which you can enjoy as well. So finally, um, at Gallion's Point, Telford Homes are offering any resident that are looking to, uh, to purchase property in the, within the development a free entertainment pack. This promotion is run until the 31st of April. The benefit of this entertainment pack, it saves you around two and a half thousand pounds on digital equipment for your property when you're looking to, to move in, which is a good saving for you as a first time buyer. Um, with this, you're offered um, free annual subscription of Amazon Prime, as well as Netflix and Amazon Echo. Um, Samsung television, Apple AirPods, and an um, Apple iPod Air, um, which is a good plus for yourself as well. Um, the development is open for viewings. So all of our viewings are by appointment only. Um, so I would say, please, if you are interested, give us a call and we can book you in. Thank you very much. That's in the now. Thanks, Theo. Uh, now onto the Q&A bit. We've actually received a couple of questions uh, for you, Theo, which I'll go through now. Um, what are your opening hours for viewings? Um, sure. So the opening hours, um, we are open seven days a week. Um, Monday to Friday, we are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on Sunday, we are open from 11 to 5. Perfect, thanks. And a couple for you, Jordan, as well. Um, on Help to Buy, can you pay more than 5% towards a deposit? Yep, you absolutely can. Um, so minimum you need to take out is a 25% as a mortgage. Um, and then you can put down the initial additional cash plus the Help to Buy. Perfect. And then there's another one for you as well, Jordan. Is Help to Buy for local UK buyers only or for foreigners as well? Uh, it's an interesting question that was. I was just um, just looking at it because one of them, if you, if you look at the eligibility criteria, um, the property needs to be in the UK. Um, it needs to be a property that you will live in um, and it needs to be the only home that you'll own. So for overseas buyers, it needs to be a, a plausible explanation as to why you're going to be moving to live in there. In theory, it's possible, but um, obviously it's a very 
minute set of circumstances where I think that might work. Perfect. And then next question is for Theo. Uh, do you, do buyers have enough time now before the stamp duty holiday ends? Uh, yes, providing that you've got all, all the ducks in the row in terms of getting a, an agreement in principle um, from your lender. Um, typically, if you're looking to buy a property you've got to buy, um, because the apartments that we have here are complete, you can look to exchange and complete within about six to eight weeks. So it's, it's well within time. Perfect. And the next one for you, Jordan. On the help to buy scheme, what is the time frame to pay back the equity loan from the government? And can you pay it back sooner than the initial time agreed? Yep, so absolutely. So um, you need to, the, the, the one restriction is that you have to pay it off in 10% in chunks, um, but, it, but you, can, you can in effect pay, across, uh, pay off the equity loan uh, in any time frame that you like. Great. And then finally, I think last one for Theo here is, is there any info on service charges uh, for Galleon Point? Yes, there is. So service charge um, is £2.90 per foot, per square foot. Um, so the price of the service charge would, would vary depending on if you're going for one bed, two bed, and three bed in the overall square footage of the apartment. But to, 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 to caveat, well, to bring everything together, the, the service charge, as I said, is £2.90 per square foot. Great. And I think that that is all. Um, if there's no more sort of questions coming in, I mean, I, I really hope everyone found that useful. Um, and if you'd like to speak to any one of us after this webinar, feel free to leave your name and your contact details in the Q&A bit and uh, we'll get in touch with you. But thank you very much for joining and have a great day all.